It was another thriller at Unadilla as the ATV National Motocross Championship hit the famous skies of upstate New York. And while the track left several riders battle weary, it also offered up great racing between title contenders Joel Hedrick and Chad Wienan. Some of the action got too close for comfort as riders set each other up for passes around the ups and downs of Unadilla. Thomas Brown's late race charge put him into third ahead of Joel Hedrick and Wienan. And then the gate dropped on moto number two. Wienan got out front early, but Hedrick was soon on the charge, making moves and leaving Brown and Jeffrey Rastrelli to renew their battle for third. Hedrick would come out on top once again, further stretching the points lead, and only two races remain. A pivotal round at Redbud, next in ATV Motocross. Redbud! Round nine of the pro class of ATV National Motocross Championship Racing presented by CST Tires for 2018. This is all sanctioned by AMA Pro Racing. A variety of classes out here for both young and old alike. Mini machines and all on right in the middle, the top pros. And they're all in a guessing game to try to figure out what the weather will hold this weekend. Could be rainy, could be sunny. We know one thing for sure, everyone loves Redbud. There's Zach Kasbarek's bike, Sammy Rose machine, Riders be day on two wheels or four wheels. Love coming and racing here at Redbud. There is Wesley Wolf's Honda ready to go, the 741. Ah, glad to get it up close. Drake Coling's distinctive lizard-like look. There's Wesley Lewis machine. Dylan Tremellen on the 940. The number nine of Parker Wawerka. And Joel Hetrick's been having a good time with some of his rivals this weekend hosting a riding school. What's up guys, we're here at Redbud. I uh, got here Thursday to do the Team USA riding school with Chad, Thomas, and Jeffrey. Um, super good time. Thursday was awesome weather for us. They're calling for some more rain in the afternoon, but we got full mud prep already. We're ready to roll in any condition. Um, my mechanic Brandon has that bike, you know, sealed for water and uh, everything he can do. And you know, I, I rode with some mud tires early on this week, just preparing myself and doing everything I could to, you know, be ready for this rain. and. We haven't had a mud race yet. We've been really lucky missing, dodging the rain at every race so far. So, um, you know, I knew it was going to happen and uh, we're prepared for it. We're ready for anything. And, you know, hopefully we can just go out there and get a podium, uh, not lose points. If I can, split points. And, uh, you know, if it works out, I'll gain points. But either way, just come out on the podium and uh, stay uh, in the championship hunt for Loretta's. And the Team USA, by the way, that's the Quad Cross of Nations, which will have Chad Wienan and Jeff Rastrelli. They're along with Thomas Brown, but right now Wienan's got to focus on beating Hetrick here. Looks like he's going to get kind of ruddy today, and uh, there's talking more rain later on today, so we're kind of in a waiting pattern on if we need to go full med mud setup or not, and uh, we're prepared either way, but it's kind of nice having either option of being a dry day or a rainy day. It's gonna, if it's gonna rain, it's, I'd like for it to rain all day and just deal with it, and, uh, but we're kinda at a holding pattern, so we're gonna see what happens, and got a lot of good friends and family uh, making the trip up here, so always good to have that and uh, see what we can do, and hopefully we can uh, really try to claw our way back into this point chase and take it down to Loretta's. Loretta's is the series finale, but first you have to get through the gauntlet that is Redbud. Great dirt, huge jumps, high speeds, and the best riders in the world ready to go. Stay with us. ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by Maxis. So let's get going. We're going to put these ATVs out on the track. Jason Wygant here to give you the call. Everyone waiting for the weather report at Redbud. Track looks awesome here early on. There's Joel Hedrick ripping it up on his Rockford Fosgate Honda. Chad Wienan on the Wienan Motorsports Yamaha looking very good as well. Look at those skies back there, that is ominous. Gonna get through qualifying and two motos today. There's Thomas Brown airing it out. Hey, Nick Janusa on the Gen USA machine off the ski jump. And Jeff Rastrelli working his way back from injury and looking fast. Love how this soil shapes up at Redbud. Check out Sammy Rowe. 
and Hayden Mickelson airing it out. Drake Coling. And Wes Lewis. Dylan Tremellan. And Parker Wawerka. We're working the clutch to get in and out of that corner clean. Oh, more clouds on the horizon. But happy days for Joel Hedrick. He wins the ATVriders.com Fast Qualifying Award. Hey, check it out. Thomas Brown has his Team USA livery on display this weekend. Let's talk to him about Redbud. We're here at Redbud. Man, coming off a podium finish at Unadilla. So, super stoked to be here. Looking to carry the momentum. It's, uh, weather's not looking so promising right now. It looks like it's going to rain. But for me, if it's going to rain, let it pour. Let's, let's have a full mudder or let's have some dry racing. But we got enough rain so far. I think the track will be mint come race time as long as we don't get any more. Looking forward to it and looking carrying this momentum. But it's uh, still a big tight points race for third place between me and Jeffrey. And I think we're going to be duking it out these last two. So it's going to be some good racing today. Well, you can count on T Brown being a contender today, especially if it gets muddy, which certainly is possible. Moto One coming your way next. ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by Maxis. Bringing the machines to the line for the first moto of the day here at Redbud. There's Joel Hetrick, serious points leader. Jeffrey Rostrelli is going to run the Rocky Mountain ATV MC helmet cam. Cards about to go sideways. Revs are up. Gates down. Oh, Hedrick dialed it in. He had the best gate pick he used to get the inside. He got the drive, but his rival win, and it's right there in second. So we've got a perfect setup for a battle here. Early at Red Bud, and everyone makes it through those first few corners clean. Hedrick going to go to work from the front, and Thomas Brown up to third. Last couple of races, we've seen Thomas get some good starts. I feel like that's the one thing he's really been lacking through the years to try to run with Wienan, who's right ahead of him right now. Let's see what he can do with the bird's eye view of the championship contenders up front. On board with Nick Janusa, also running the Rocky Mountain ATV MC cam. And he has some work to do. Big tabletop that separates one half of the track from the other. Spectators on this side getting their first view of the action. And those big sand rollers, that's usually a strength of Wien, and he uses it to get right up behind Hedrick and now go for the lead. Who's going to break first coming into this corner? It's what we call the hockey stick, a little loop around before they get to the big leap, Larocco's leap. As we go back to Janusa here. And to the top of the jump we go, and Wienan has taken the lead from Hetrick. That is impressive. Hetrick, I would say, has been the quicker man this year. So to see a pass executed by the 44 is big. We'll see if Hetrick can get him back. And Brown still lurking in third. Parker Wawerka, a good start in fourth. Oh, Zach has marked just getting bumped and banged around on this rough surface. And maybe that's the difference maker. Very sandy soil out here at Redbud, and maybe that's working better for Whedon. We have seen Hedrick make several passes on Whedon and get away this year. Whedon going to try to return the favor in this one. But it's still early in this first moto. Hedrick certainly not going to let him off the hook. Restrelli working on Wesley Wolf. Back to the big tabletop. And I'm impressed with the fourth place man. Parker Wawerka keeping it close to Brown, and Brown staying in contention. Restrelli trying to make more passes here. He's on the ball when racing Ford Brothers Racing Honda. Woo! You actually heard the wind as he took a look over his shoulder. It is settled in up front. Hedrick is not going anywhere. He is trying to figure out the lines and where he can make a move on Chad Wienan. With Brown and Mawarka now losing a little bit of distance. There's Rastrelli. You see that orange fly racing gear as he tries to move back toward the front. Off the ski jump. This track is getting so gnarly, and just like Chad Wienan said, run it. Oh, is there a bump? 
I think Hedrick just ran into the back of him in that corner. I don't know if that was intentional or if they just mistimed it as far as exactly when Wheaton wanted to get on the brakes, Hedrick was still charging in. If anything, it actually helped Wheaton get further away. Now in some parlance, you would call that a brake check. The rider in the lead can decide to just stop on the brakes and make the rider behind him run into him, but it doesn't really help on four wheels. It's not like you're going to lose your balance and go down like what would happen on a dirt bike. Well, we'll find out if maybe that fires Hedrick up or maybe it did the opposite. Maybe it's getting Wienan excited and allowing him to pull away. Right now, the Yamaha man in control early here at Redbud. We'll see what Joel Hedrick has for him in the number two spot. Stay with us on Map TV. ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires, by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com, and by Maxis. Battle continues for the lead here at Redbud. Chad Wienan, Joel Hedrick in a duel. Wienan, the five-time series champ, lost the title last year to Hedrick. Had the points lead early this year, lost the points lead to Hedrick. This is a huge shot. If Wienan can get this photo win, he was able to pass Hedrick to get the lead. He not only needs the points, but that would be huge momentum. As Hedrick always comes on strong at mid-season and starts reeling off wins. Jeff Rastrelli has caught Parker Wawerka. The battle for fourth with Thomas Brown all alone in third right now. Back to the leaders. Here's the finish line jump. And every time it looks like Hedrick is about to put an earnest pass attempt on Wienan, Wienan able to pull back away. Well, certainly to this section, Hedrick has the speed. He's down to the inside. Still not enough to make it happen. Over the big table. Rastrelli closing up on the back of Wawerka. But where can he find an opening? Maybe the section that's coming up. This is where Wayden made a pass. There's some sand loops, and that makes a huge difference. Wawerka actually pulling back away, so Jeffrey must have made a mistake. And must go back to work. And Wayden pulling away from Hedrick a bit. Boy, that cloud cover overhead looking ominous as we wait for Thomas Brown to come through. We might just get through Moto 1 without rain because there's not a lot of time left, but at the end of the day, we're going to have a little over an hour break between motos and send these riders back to the line. White flag is out. Rastrelli still trying to figure out a way to get around Wawerka, so Parker has really stepped up his game today. Parker is eighth in points and aiming for his first top five moto finish of the season. So a fourth would be... I believe a career best in this class. He actually still races in the Pro-Am division, which is for riders working their way into the pros. Still holding off Rastrelli. Oh, and Jeffrey finds a line. What even happened there? I'm not even sure. They bumped tires. Wawerka could not clear the table, and Rastrelli gets by for fourth. Back to the leaders. Hedrick is as close as he can get. Can he figure something out on the other side of the course? These rollers do favor Wienan, and he is able to pull away just slightly. Not much racetrack left. Checkered flag coming out. Hedrick doing everything he can, but he's out of time, and a big win for Chad Wienan. And there's Chad talking to Rodney Tomlin on the podium. Between motos, he has cut into the nine-point lead for Hedrick, but things have changed in a hurry. The rain is here and now. And we're racing Moto2, and it looks like it's going to be a mutter. How bad will it get before it's over? Rastrelli with a whole shot nearly over rotates. He's got Thomas Brown right with him, and there's a pile up. And it's Wienan who gets the short end of the stick. He gets spun. Well, this will be interesting. You put these two up front, Rastrelli and Brown. Your race winners throughout the year, Hedrick and Wienan in the back. They're going to have to deal with Roost and Mud. The door is open for Rastrelli or Brown to win today. And look at how muddy everyone is already. There's Hedrick. 
He is mid-pack at best, and there's Weenan in dead last. He's got one rider behind him, actually. Long way to go. Meanwhile, look at Thomas Brown trying to set up Rastrelli. These two have been waging battles for third in the races and the points the last season and a half. But today, their battle could shift to one for the race win. Look at Brown dancing his way through the rain. Through the mud, through the puddles, he's trying everything to get around Rastrelli. And probably taking on a ton of roost off the Rastrelli's rear tires. Looks like Wawurka in the number three spot. Wesley Wolf comes around in fourth. And there is Hedrick in fifth. Weenan is ninth. There he is at the back of that train on the blue Yamaha. Back to the leader, Jeff Rastrelli. He's going to do everything he can to throw as much mud as he can on Thomas Brown. Brown keeps finding good inside lines, though. It helps for two reasons. Obviously, opens up a passing opportunity. But second, he is not in the tire tracks of Rastrelli, taking on a little bit less roost. And right now, I think the Texan is actually trying to stay far enough back where he doesn't catch all that mud. Well, Worker is going slow over that jump. You have to worry about mechanical problems in these races as well. There's Weenan trying to work his way forward. Here we go to the top of the big table. Rastrelli is pulling roll-offs, trying to keep clean vision. Hedrick has gotten Rewerka. We saw the problems he had getting over that tabletop. It's still close up front. Thomas Brown wants the lead. Jeff Rastrelli is staring a moto win in the face. And he's got it. Brown gets the number one spot on the uphill Morocco's lead. He figured something out at the bottom of the hill. And now it's time to try to sprint away. ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires. By Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com and by Maxis. Thomas Brown trying to turn three one scores into a race win here today at Red Bud. He has pulled clear of Jeff Rastrelli. And now Joel Hedrick has caught Rastrelli. He's going for the number two spot. And how critical it is for Brown. Hedrick finished second in moto number one. If he goes 2-2, the 3-1 of Brown, Brown will get the overall. Rastrelli trying to hold off Hedrick, these two pretty good buddies off the track, but they've got to put that aside right now. Championship points on the line for Hedrick, who needs to claw some back after being beaten by Chad Weenan in Moto1. Nick Janusa, problems with his machine. Look at the rear suspension just hanging down. I'm impressed. The engines have run clean for everyone out here in the mud. Obviously, the air box going to take on a lot of mud and water. There's Thomas Brown. He is long gone. Hedrick's into second. Does he have time to run him down? It would mean the overall, but more importantly, it would mean points. But look at this. Chad Weenan from all the way back, from basically being backwards in the first turn, is now on the comeback charge. Through the rollers we go with Thomas Brown. Trying to get the finishing touches on his first win of the season. And he's ever the opportunist. We've seen races where Weenan will have a problem, Hedrick will have a problem. You know that Brown's going to be lurking. And when the time is right, he'll strike and take advantage. And now he's one lap away from getting the overall here at Redbud. And Hedrick doesn't have anything for him this time. Brown has run a great race in the mud. Look at that. Goggles are gone. But he's a tough Texan, and he's going to try to bring it home. Brown hosts his own riding schools, T. Brown 84, also backed by CST Tires. He's going to be very happy today. There is Jeffrey Rastrelli just fighting the mud and clinging to third, Weenan trying to get there. They pay points per moto. So if Weenan can make that move, it will be critical. Look at that, Brown staying outside of the main line. Just doesn't want to get hung up on this last lap. Because Hedrick's not close enough to pass him. He doesn't have to worry about taking the fast line. He's taking the safe way around. Listen to the crowd. Saluting this ride. 
Thomas Brown is back in victory lane in ATV Motocross. Hedrick edges Whedon for second overall. Ristrellian will work in the top five. Let's talk to our top riders. Man, we just came off the track, Moto2. We took the, over, took the overall and the Moto win. I'm super stoked right now. It's been, I think, about three years since I've won last time, and it feels awesome. The whole day was just great, but I'm so stoked right now. We did good, we made up some points, we're in third, and man, I'm just looking forward to finish off this year strong, but I just can't thank my whole team enough. Big shout out to everybody that supports me. We finally got back up there. We got the center of that box. You know, Moto2, I knew I had to, I had to win a Moto or beat them today to maintain my points lead, and that's exactly what I did in Moto2. It, it, the rain came down nasty, and this place is just, it is muddy right now, and uh, you know, I got kind of squirrely on the whole shot, got some contact with Chad, managed to come out probably seventh or eighth, and came through the pack, and um, finished up second in the Moto, which gave me second overall in the day, and gained one point, I'm pretty sure, so we're looking good heading into Loretta's, and uh, we're ready for that. Hopefully we've got some dry weather there and we can have an intense battle, me and Chad. And you know, now Thomas is up in the mix, so I'm, I'm happy for him and we've got a lot of racing left, so uh, we'll see you there. Uh, second moto came into the first term third and uh, Joel spun me out, so we got the gloves off for the next round and we're gonna do everything we can to uh, try and get this championship going our direction and uh, you know, just a huge props to my support group and my team and uh, Wiener Motorsports Sports Yamaha and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the Reds. We're going to work hard and uh, see what we can do. Ooh. And now that I've seen in the replay, yeah, Weenan's saying that he got spun by Hedrick. So a little drama there as we get to our Maxis race recap. The dishes were great in Moto 1. We watched Jeff Ristrelli march his way forward, eventually passing Parker Wawurka for fourth. Chad Weenan edges Joe Hedrick for the first Moto win ahead of Thomas Brown. Now here's that start. Strelly with the whole shot. Watch closely the blue 44. He does get tagged from the back. Although I think everyone had a tough time stopping and hitting the lines they wanted in these very slippery corners. Whatever. We'll let the racers settle it at the last race. Uh, Loretta's in trouble for Nick Janusa in the mud. Jeff Rastrelli had to muscle his way around. Thomas Brown gets the lead from Rastrelli and holds him off. His first win this season. The season finale from Loretta's is coming up next week. Will it be Weenan? Will it be Hedrick? For everyone here at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wynette. Thanks for watching. <laughs>